the 25th of um, May 2018. This is Professor Solange Martinez. Um, and again, uh, I am the uh, college professor and Christian activist that is uh, investigating uh, and has been investigating the trafficking of identities in government benefits for the last uh, 18 years or so. Uh, today, uh, May 25, 2018, approximately at 10.57 a.m., I am uh, making this call um, in regards to another victim, uh, another TI targeted individual that has um, been the victim of identity theft and another one of the scams of the organized crime, uh, Mr. John uh, Perry. He lives in Florida and uh, he has been going through the same thing that um, our activist Elvira Williams uh, w went through uh, when they stole and sold her identity and government benefits to illegals. And the government employees uh, involved, as I said before, the commissioners of SSA, DSS, M uh, CMS, excuse me, CMS, uh, DOJ employees, and um, the State Department of Health employees are involved in the racketeering and RICO violations. Um, they belong to this organized crime a network uh, which traffics with identities and government benefits. And for them, everybody is crazy. Once you uncover what they have uh, done, uh, you're crazy. Uh, any um, government official is crazy. <laughs> Trump is Donald Trump is crazy because he's, he's, he doesn't agree with the corruption and he, and he wants transparency. The conservatives are crazy. Everybody's crazy. Uh, everybody that does not agree with the trafficking of identities and government benefits and the illegal smuggling of uh, illegals in the country. So this is the situation. Now let me call uh, one of our government employees, um, the uh, elected official that I called uh, and promised that he was going to resolve the trafficking of uh, Elvira Williams' identity and government benefits, and uh, he was going to stop the uh, assassination attempts against her. That was before she was assassinated on or around the 27th of February of 2018. Uh, 18. I should note that I know that Michael Rubio's office is not going to do anything in regards to this case either uh, because as um, a lot of other congressmen and um, senators uh, and a lot of congresswomen, uh, they uh, look the other way and I don't think it is in, in exchange of anything. And if they are not looking the other way, they certainly... The people who are working at their offices are um, omitting information or are not giving them the information that they need uh, to uh, protect their constituents. And this is uh, a real problem because it is killing American citizens and legal residents by the millions. And they want to smuggle um, the illegals uh, in the country by the millions again uh, also. So it is a problem, and uh, Donald J. Trump, our president, uh, has been um, put in the White House by um, Almighty God, I believe, because he truly loves this country, and he truly wants, <clears throat> excuse me, he truly wants to know something about this problem. So let's see uh, what we can get from, <clears throat> from uh, the office uh, of Michael Rubio in Florida, and, and um, I know, uh, again, that they're not going to do anything because as uh, Donald J. Trump, I believe, is infiltrated uh, and they have people uh, from the uh, left there uh, and from the organized crime and network working at these officers because they uh, have the connections to become the government employees that they need to become to perpetuate the uh, assassination of American citizens and legal residents after their identities and government benefits have been stolen and sold. And this is how um, they have been sabotaging our president's um, presidency. If he does something good, they uh, go behind his back and undo it or uh, turn it 
uh, into a corrupted thing uh, and uh, they don't do what uh, he tells them to do. So this is the situation that we have currently. And apparently nobody's checking whether the agencies uh, and the employees are doing what they are supposed to do. So, and this is a real problem because I cannot teach a class, I'm a teacher, as you know, and uh, tell my assistant, uh, like I had in uh, Queens, in uh, La Guardia College, I cannot tell my assistants, oh, teach this lesson, just write the lesson and give it to them without going to check if they have been teaching uh, the lesson, which I used to do all the time. And many times they told me, but professor, uh, we are doing what you told us to do. We, you gave us the lesson plan and the instructions. Don't don't worry about it. And I said no, because it's my job to worry about. It. It's my it's and it is my job to check that uh, my college students are uh, doing uh, what they are supposed to be doing. So this is a problem uh, to um, uh, delegate. Uh, the obligations to uh, supervisees and not check whether the work is being done the way it is supposed to be done uh, because that's the way um, communists and socialists countries start uh, from the very bottom and they go all the way to the very top and the corruption becomes so um, blatant and so abundant that then it is impossible to get rid of. So let me call um, Michael Rubio's office and see uh, what we can do regarding this. Thank you for calling Senator Rubio's Washington, D.C. office. If you would like to leave a comment about an issue, please press 1. To hear our office hours or location, please press 2. If you are interested in setting up a tour or requesting a flag, please press 3. If you need to speak with a member of our office, please press 4. To hear these options again, press the star key. Thank you for calling Senator Rubio's Washington, D.C. office. If you would like to leave a comment about an issue, please press 1. To hear our office... Thank you for calling Senator Rubio's office. How can I help you? Hi, this is Professor Solange Martinez. May I speak to Senator Rubio, please? Okay, this is um, the Spanish Harriet Tuffman uh, show host, Professor Solange Martinez. I am calling uh, because I uh, contacted him in regards to an elderly disabled activist, uh, Elvira Williams, that was being subjugated, basically. Uh, her government benefits and identities uh, and identity was stolen, and people around the country have been using her identity and uh, government benefits, and they have been defrauding the government uh, and the taxpayers with this uh, identity. <clears throat> Excuse me. Subsequently, uh, after I contacted his office, uh, they continued uh, to go after her until they assassinated her. Uh, the um, sheriff that was um, reprimanded and uh, was involved in the shooting of the uh, 17 people in the um, Florida Broward County High School uh, that was recently retired uh, with $8,700 or so per month. Uh, he was involved in the assassination of Elvira Williams. And now we have another uh, constituent of um, Michael Rubio who is being uh, subjugated and, and he's going through the same uh, thing that uh, Miss Williams went through before I contacted uh, his office. His name is John Perry, and um, I spoke with him. He told me that he went to uh, Michael Rubio's office, and he was told uh, uh, to go to a shelter after his identity, his social security number, and um, his driver license was stolen by the Department of uh, Social Services and the Social Security Administration office. And they told him that they took away his social security number, his driver license, his medical insurance, and his job and contractor license because there was a, a mistake uh, and he resulted to be dead uh, in, his, in their computers. The Social Security Administration Office did. Uh, 
Um, he contacted Nancy Berry Hill, uh, which is involved in the trafficking of identities and government benefits, the uh, temporary commissioner of the Social Security Administration office, and she told him basically to go to hell uh, and excuse my French. So I want to know uh, what uh, is Michael Rubio going to do in regards to this so I can't uh, let my uh, contacts know what uh, he did because he didn't do anything for Elvira Williams and I don't think he was told about the situation of Miss Williams after she was uh, um, contacted by me and I contacted Michael Rubio's office. Sure. Sure. Um, the phone number is 407-254-2573. Let me just ask you this. Uh, I understand that at, at the Orlando's office, they have an infiltrated person working there that is uh, in charge of uh, sabotaging uh, Michael Rubio instead of doing what he stands for. And this is the reason why uh, Miss Williams was assassinated on or around the 27th of February 2018. So what can we do in regards to this person? Or uh, can you give me the name of a person that can't resolve this problem? Because I don't want uh, Mr. John Perry to run the same, uh, um, to go down the same road that Miss Williams went. What is his name? Uh, his name is Tom Self. Can you spell it for me, please? Yes, the first name is spelled T O M, and the last name is spelled S E L F. L. S as in Sam, A as in Apple, L as in Love, S as in Sam? Um, I'm sorry, could you repeat that again? S as in Sam, A as in Apple, L as in Love, S as in Sam? Oh, S E L S. I'm sorry. Can you say that one more time? Because I'm hard, I'm hard of hearing. Oh, F as in flight. Okay, bingo. I got it. Okay, is is he there now? Okay, can you give me his direct extension? Um, I cannot. I don't have that information. Okay. If I give you my uh, information, my number, can you call him and uh, tell him to call me? Um, I, I think your better option would just be to call the office and request him. Okay, so let me try that uh, because I don't want uh, Mr. Perry to end up like... Um, Miss Elvira Williams, which is a constituent of Michael Rubio, and she was basically left uh, by herself uh, to be assassinated by the organized crime. So let's see if we can change this pattern in our country. Thank you, and um, I will uh, contact you back if I have any problems. Thank you. Okay, so let me contact this um, other person here. Let me see. Hi, may I speak to um, the regional director, Tom Self, please? Tom is currently not in right now. Can you have him call me, please? Um, sure. Can I get your... Do you have a case for him or? No, um, I have uh, a person. I am doing a, a case work, a volunteer case work for a person that uh, should have a case with him. Uh, and uh, his name is John Perry. Uh, his uh, social security uh, driver license, uh, contractor license, and um, his identity was stolen by the um, social security administration 
commissioner, uh, Nancy Berryhill, the temporary commissioner, and uh, they are refusing to uh, give it back to him. Uh, so we, as uh, activists, are contacting Michael Rubio's office uh, to see that uh, this is resolved uh, before we go to someplace else. And uh, I contacted Michael Rubio's office with another case uh, last year, Elvira Williams' case. Uh, she was one of his constituents. And after I contacted Michael Rubio's office, uh, Elvira Williams was assassinated after her identity and government benefits were also stolen and sold. So I want to speak directly to the regional director, Tom Self, to ask him why uh, we activists have to see this over and over again within uh, the district of Michael Rubio. Um, one moment, okay? Mm hmm the Mr. Ferry, uh, Social Security number? Uh, yes, uh, his social security number, his contract, contractor license, uh, his driver license, uh, basically his home because he was illegally evicted with a 24 hours express eviction notice. And uh, he's living on the street as Miss um, Elvira William, Williams was living before she was assassinated and before I contacted um, um. the senator. Uh, and nothing was done uh, because somebody in the office, I was informed, uh, is trying to sabotage the senator and not do what uh, he would like uh, the workers to do in his office. So we were, we are trying to find out who uh, is this person. I know that uh, she's a female, uh, but I want to find out who the person is and I want to uh, denounce this person because she shouldn't be working for Michael Rubio. Yes, he lives in Florida, and he was at the Michael Rubio's office, and he was given five dollars and told basically to um, go uh, go away, and he was told to go to a shelter and go away because he was not going to receive uh, any assistance as a Michael Rubio constituent in any way, shape, or form. No, because he has been homeless uh, for a month now because uh, because the stealing of her social security number and identity by Nancy Berryhill, the SSA commissioner, temporary commissioner, she's interim, not a permanent commissioner. Uh, he lost his home. Uh, he has a son. Uh, they are homeless right now. Uh, he lost his contractor um, license. He used to do uh, contracts with the city. He also lost his driver license, his medical insurance, uh, and he became sick. He got a blood clot uh, as a consequence of the theft of his identity by the Social Security Administration Commissioner Nancy Berryhill. And he has lost basically everything, even he, his health. So we want to know what uh, Michael Rubio's office is going to do regarding this matter. All right. Well, what I'm going to do is I'm going to send you a consent form. And if you can have the gentleman pull it out and send it back to us. Okay. We'll be able to assist him. He already uh, filled out the consent form uh, and you have it in his office. Okay. So I typed in the, the man's name and I was not able to, the only way I was able to really find him is if I can have like a phone number or if he has an address that he gave us. Okay, let me uh, give you that information. Hold on, because I have it here. I just need a phone number from him if he already had it. Okay, hold on. Okay. 